And the International Advisory Board, African Resource Development Center, ARDC, wants the next president to be more intentional in improving the country's education system. Now, stakeholders in the sector and other professionals raised issues, shared perspectives, found common ground and reached an agreement on policy agenda for the sector. Details in this report. This is a gathering of professionals. The focus here is agenda setting for policymakers and the next president in the education sector. A lighted year are challenges bedeviling the sector, which include poor infrastructure, out of date curriculums, poor funding, among others. Budgeting in Nigeria today, they don't take education seriously. It has always been underfunding, underfunding, underfunding. And where do we go? I, 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 I don't know. Few of us in this room, I would want somebody to raise up his hand and say, my child attends a primary school, a public school. No. Even a paper seller now wants his child in a private school because of the quality of education. Are we ready to change ourselves? Because if we're not ready to change ourselves, the government is going nowhere. Guess what? We are the people. We are also the government. We may be electing some people to make decisions, to give policy, attempt to implement policy, but we are the ones that will give Philip to that policy or to those policies. Just look at what we have built. The system is that once I am there as the governor, sure, my children, I make them to also think that they should become the governor tomorrow. And that is our major, major, major problem. How can we solve that problem? And that is where I got to paradigm shift our curriculum. Our building. An example is even where we are now. For Dr. Onifande, Director of Interfaith and Special Duties, Nigeria Baptist Convention, schools once owned by missionaries should be returned in order for more of teaching to return into the curriculum. Policy on education. Inconsistency has been one of our problems. Government coming on board must stop playing, playing politics. This must stop playing politics with education have an opportunity of uh, moral teaching to the students, inculcating moral learning to the students, to the children, to the poor peoples, both in the primary and in the secondary education level. Let's learn from who things that we need to know about the past. Moral teachings must be brought back to school. The stakeholders appeal to the government to implement policies on the establishment of more educated and vocational institutions, recruitment, infrastructure, funding, among others. They call for an improved budgetary allocation to the education sector. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.